Hi everybody, it's Hilly Zavaro. Today I will show you how to prepare a 3D escape room. Uh, one that looks like this. This is an example. Students enter the room and they see that they have to look for three tasks that are hiding in the room. Um, they start looking for them. They find that one is here with a puzzle to complete. And another one should be hiding right here. And that's a Quizlet set. And there's another another activity hiding right here. And those are the flashcards from a Quizlet set. And then they uh, need to find something in common. All activities are about food. And if they get it correctly, they move on to the next room. Next room also has a question mark. Welcome to the kitchen. Find the six tasks to complete here before you move on to the next room. And this is a TV screen. They have a video about food. And then they uh, need to look for the other task. So you can see that one is hiding here. This is a Padlet board asking them to prepare a salad from tomatoes and cucumbers. Another one here with a GIF animation of a salad. And another one here with a word cloud. What vegetables do you like to eat? This is a word cloud. Another one here with a uh, write a winning salad recipe and when they finish everything they will be directed to the door they can try a few answers but the thing in common to everything is vegetables then they are being directed to the exit they have escaped the room they get a little star here that says you did it you have escaped and they are done they're out outside having fun. First step would be to go to uh, the site pixexid.com and click 360. And here you can actually find uh, 3D pictures for your escape room. So find something that is suitable for you and the material that you are teaching. Then you want to go to a website called thinglink.com and just click start now and create your account, preferably with Gmail because it's easier. And then uh, they will ask you which type of an account are you interested in and you should definitely choose classroom. When you choose classroom and not e-learning, not business, you will get unlimited amount of boards that can be public. When you are logged in, click create and slowly uh, upload all your images. Click upload 360 VR image and slowly, slowly, one by one, just upload each and every picture that you have downloaded previously from this website. Once you're in, click done. And the first thing you want to do to each and every picture is click the little settings button and then change it to public public then click save in case um, you're not able to click public it's probably because this is not a classroom account so in order to change your account to a classroom account go to thinglink.com edu click start now and then log in with your account so first thing we want to do is click on the little pencil and start editing we click add tag and we have a few options. This is a way for you to add a link to an external website. This is a way for you to just add a little bubble um, that they call it a text label. And then this is a way for you to embed something inside. This is a way for you to go to the next room. So let's start with a little text bubble, a welcome message, welcome students. And you add on the information that you want to add on. Here you change the icon, preferably to a question mark, because they'll know to start from here. You can actually, after you click the question mark, change the color of the question mark to make it more suitable for your room. So let's choose white because this room is white. And then you click done. Your message is ready. Now you want to add in different tasks, different riddles, anything that can make your escape room more interesting. So you can add a word wall or a puzzle or a padlet, anything to make the students engaged and active. So you want to click add tag again and you want to click add content from website. 
Let's say you have a Padlet. On your Padlet, you click Share, and then Embed in your blog or post, and you copy this Share link. You go back to the Thing link, and you paste it here. It's been pasted, it's done, then you can change the icon again. Now you want to make it hidden because you want to make students look up the task, look for them in the room. Um, so you want to choose this one. This is a very, very small um, circle button and you want to choose maybe this one because this one is usually invisible. And then you click done. Then you should look for it. It should be somewhere here here usually it's on top of the other one that you um created before and you can move it let's say to this to this place to a lamp or here or of course you can move it to anywhere you like to hide it and uh, that's it so you can add more and more let's look at other types of tags you can also add in a puzzle from jigsawplanet.com so in this website jigsaw planet you have many different puzzles and you can also upload your own. You don't want to make the puzzles too um, with too many pieces because students will get frustrated, but you can do something up to 10 or 12 pieces, maybe 20, 20 pieces max. And in order to share and embed this puzzle in your escape room, you want to enter the puzzle, click share and then embed scroll down to the embed code here copy right click copy and you can uh, go ahead and click add content from website paste it and the puzzle will be embedded inside again you can change the icon to something invisible and just hide it somewhere in the room okay in order to embed, let's say, a word wall, something from word wall, then all you need to do is copy the link from here. And when you go back, you want to click add tag and use add text and media. You paste it here where it says URL and you can add a title. For example, learn the words. Um, click to learn. Or if it's a riddle, then you just ask them, you ask them a question. If you ever want to add a picture, you can definitely do that as well. You click image or video from here and you can add a picture. So let's say you choose this picture and this picture is being added. You can also ask questions about it. And then if you want to upload an audio, like you asking a question, if those are young children that still they can't read, so you want to click upload audio and you can actually upload an audio file of yourself speaking. Click done and uh, that's it. You can of course come back here and change it to something invisible and done. Um, and then you want to do the door to the next activity. So you click add tag. You click create tour and here you want to choose a little arrow icon like this one and you want to place it by the door and you select a scene. So you choose the next room, the next room in your activity. Let's say this one, for example. And then what you want to do is you want to add conditional transition. Students will have to answer a question or enter a code in order to go to the next room. And you want it to be something about those activities that you've hidden in the room. So let's say there is one thing in common to everything like food or vegetables or house. Um, then you do conditional transition. You ask your question here. common to all the activities and you write the answer here for example food and if you want to make it a little easier you can actually add options like food uh, fish um, sea vacation and then they have all those options they just click the correct answer that's easier then you want to click done and your room is done your room is done you click done 
And then in order to go to the next room, you click thing link, you go back to the dashboard and here you have to look for the actual room that you directed your room to. Um, I think it was, um, so here in the next room, um, you can again start by clicking the little pencil and you want to add a tag. You want to start with the text label, welcoming the students, welcome to the second room, etc. And you can also um, uh, do some kind of a riddle. For example, the first one can be something like, so we can write something like, welcome students, find the next clue right under the place, the place we sit and do our homework. And we can change this to a little question mark. and we can make it a different color and then of course we hide the next clue under the table so here we click add content from website we paste the link to the puzzle we change the icon to something invisible and we place it under the table right here okay so we have it here and then we want to click the next one, add tag, and then create tour. And we want to go to the next place. And the next place can be the actual exit or another room. I'm going to make it white and choose maybe the escape. Perhaps they're going to escape. And we can do additional transition. For example, um, what did you see in the puzzle? And then the answer is a horse. And of course we can make also different, we can make this a multiple choice question, a dog, um, a boy, a cat, and then they have to choose. And that's it, we click done, and we can put this here as if it goes to the next room. And when students click, they will be directed to here and they'll go to the next room. So we actually have to go back to the main room, find that room that we directed our students to, click the pencil and edit so we can add congratulations you've escaped or anything at all. Now I can show you how to add music. Um, we go to a, a website called Ben Sound, and then here we can uh, look up a different type of um, just a different types of styles. For example, if it's a scary um, escape room, we can write scary, and we can see um, whatever whenever it says download, it's free and it's a royalty free website, royalty free music. We download, we click again, download. And then we can go to the room, click the little pencil. Let's say we want to add music to this room. We click settings, upload audio, and we add scary, creepy music. It will take a few seconds to upload. If you want this audio to be inside a tag, then you click embed here on Vukaru and you copy the embed code. Then you simply add a tag, go to add content from website, you paste the embed code. You can change the icon if you want to maybe play sound. And that's it. You have a pin that when you click on it, Students will be able to hear it. Record a message. Hi, students. This is the escape room. So those were two ways to add sound to your escape room. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and think of different riddles and different codes to structure the escape room and that you and your students will enjoy. See you next time. Bye-bye.